Welcome to thatscoolwire.com. In this video, which is going to be unscripted, we're going to show you that you can cut our power shape flat panels. And straight lines are typically no issue at all. You just make your cuts and everything is good and you put some tape over the cut and we're going to show you that in a second. Typically when you get into curves, you end up with a black spot. And that black spot, we believe we came up with a technique to help uh, either eliminate it or at least get rid of about 90-95% of the black spot so you don't have to lose that shape. So just real quick, um, on the back side of these panels, there's areas you don't want to cut. And here it's going to be this black copper tape, I mean this uh, copper tape area. On the circle shape, the main one here is you definitely don't want to cut the wire, you don't want to cut the copper tape at all, and you definitely don't want to cut this big one that kind of tees off down here. This one, if you trim a little bit, you're okay, but if you can stay away from, for sure, this one, but both of them, you'll be in great shape. So if you can cut your pattern off on this side, that'd be great. So we've been cutting this one, uh, so we're just going to continue with this one real quick. The back side is we want to stay away from this. We're going to turn the power off, so every cut you make, you have to turn the power off. So do that. We're going to just take this point and we will make it something else. We'll make it a flat tip. So turn the lights off and you can just see it looks clean. Everything is good. Um, lights back, back on. Inverter. We'll keep this on for right now. There's a shiny laminate on here that protects the lighting element underneath it and there's a little lip on each side so when it's heat seals, it's completely sealed. So when you make a cut, you are now breaking the seal on the end. You don't want to touch the end or you definitely are going to get shocked. So you just want to have some clear tape so you can put over, fold it, and then trim it, but make sure that the clear tape is coming over all edges. It gets a little trickier if you're making an S curve, but again, you have to make sure that that gets covered. So we're going to grab... Um, a square piece. Actually, yeah, let's just grab, a, we'll have these two white squares. So we're going to now turn the power off. And I'm going to make a curve shape. And let's see if we can create that black spot. So if we zoom in, we will now see that there is a discoloration that I can see that because I made a very sharp bend here that when the scissors had to come back in, it pushed the laminate and separated from the lighting element underneath the EL material. What I'm going to attempt to do in this video is kind of create the same thing. So I'm going to take this piece and I am going to come across and I'm going to try to create that same sharp bend. I'm going to try a little bit sharper. This one didn't quite create it. Okay. So let's see what we did here. I'm going to turn this on. Well, it didn't quite create the same effect uh, on this one. This one happens to be a little bit worse. So let's turn the lights off. But we can see when we had a sharp bend that one is worse than the other. So we're going to go ahead and try to repair these. Okay. So we're going to put the lights on. I'm going to turn the inverter off. I'm going to take one more stab to see if I can kind of create the same defect or black dark spot that I did on the other one. Turn it on. Not quite the same, but you know what? We still have um, the spots from the curve. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on this one since it has the bigger spot. So we're going to, I'm going to turn the inverter off. The tool we're going to use, believe it or not, is just what every household should have is an iron. This is just a regular t-shirt. There's the spot. I'm just going to fold the shirt over, grab our iron. It is on the linen cotton setting and you only really want to apply the heat to that one area. You don't need to apply it to the whole panel. So I'm going to push down, I'm applying some pressure. And you're going to see me lift up the shirt every once in a while. And what that does is, since that spot was visual, I can tell that if it's going away. And it does not take a lot either. So you're just going to hold it there. We're going to remove it. Flip this over. I am going to turn on the inverter and we're going to turn the light off. So as you can see, all we have is a few little freckles 
spots. And I'm going to take the other piece that was here. And you can kind of see the difference. Okay, so now you end up with these bigger spots. And if you remember, this one had the biggest spot, but it's pretty much gone right now. So we're going to do it one, one more time. We're going to turn the lights on. Inverter off. If we zoom in, we can see the spots that we need to try to repair. Same technique. Flip it. Iron. The inverter is off. And usually the smaller the, the defect is, the better chance you have of actually fixing the whole, the whole piece. Oh, we're going to bring this back into the camera. Turn it on and then turn the light off. So as you can see, this one actually is really cleaned up very, very well. I may see a little teeny spot here, but that's it. So anyway, we're going to show you one other little technique that you can do besides cutting. So we're going to turn the light back on. We have a hole punch. Um, we have a, like a teeny pinhole one that works really, really well. But let's just say in this particular design, we need a hole right here. So we're just going to take a quick little snip. Turn the light on, inverter on, and then we're going to turn the light off. So you can see if you had a little post that you needed to stick this through, you would stick it through the post and you're good to go. So we're going to turn the light on one more time. We hope you found this um, video informative on how to repair black spots in your flat panel. And if you have any questions at all, give us a call toll free, 866-435. 9473 and thank you for visiting that's coolwire.com